Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm your host, Dollar Tree Tactical, and today's video. This is not a review. This is one of my personal CAD projects, the NVG10 Pano Bridge. Now, for the most part on this channel, I've been going over some reviews, like my budget plate carrier, my budget IFAC, this NVG10, uh, some other shit. But this isn't a review. This is one of my projects. As you all know, I love the NVG10. Not because it's night vision, because it's cheap as shit, and at least it works on like the like night fox shit. That that's it's horrible. But this this actually works. So if you want to use it for airsoft, planking, uh, definitely not for combat. But if you want to mess around and have fun, perfect. Super cheap, three fifty, nice. But I was like, damn, one is good, but two is better. So I've been spending the past couple months on and off making a panel bridge for two units. The second one is still shipping. What the fuck? Anyways, my main problem with it was that this, the design. As you can see, it's the main monocular, and they, who the fuck thought it would be a good idea to put the battery off to the side? Like, who? Who did this? Like, come on, man. That has been a main design flaw, so I had to make it pano. Yay, more fuel to view. But that shit was also painful. So the first version, I'm not even going to show it. It sucked. It still required this mount, the one it came with. And I was like, eh. And then I improved to this. This was the V3, technically. There was the first one, then there's an edit to it that made it better. This is the V3. This one, it folds. And it holds two at 20 degrees. This is the fourth one. And that's what I mainly have this top piece for. As you can see, it has two chambers and it slides so you can adjust it for your eyes. And that's at 25 degrees. And that was just too complex and it didn't even work the way I wanted to. So then I simplified it for the V5, which is this piece. And as you can see, the difference between the two is that I've actually gone through and moved where it hooks in. I've simplified it so it's not these chambers. It's just flat at the top and on the bottom. And it works way better because all you need for it isn't a top piece. You just need a screw and a washer. It uses standard M4 screws. This top piece was super easy because it's literally a square with holes and like a peg on the top. And that's what I've been working on. This has taken at least three months to do. But hey... If it means that people can have, like, reasonable nods that are super easy to assemble for a little over 700 bucks, which is still half a, like, semi-decent PVS-14, I'd say that's a win. And the way it works is super simple, too. You just take your unit, put it in the groove, take your screw, and you just screw it in. Now, once you have your unit screwed in, it can freely slide through the channel and to adjust where you need it for your eyes. Once that's done and you have it adjusted for both units, you can go ahead, take your Wilcox shoe, and just click it into place. Now it'll work like your average set of NVGs, except far cheaper. For me, this was kind of like a passion project. I've done a few things with CAD. One of them you can already find on my Thingiverse account, which is an 8-shell shotgun holder that I modified off a of file for Colt to use for Molly. And this, I think this could help some airsofters. I mean, like, y'all are the broke ones, I'm just saying. And when this is all done, complete and tested, I will be releasing the full file for free, not gatekeep like the other people are like oh i want to help people i'm gonna make cad files yeah pay like 12 dollars for that shit nah this will be free gotta make sure it works though and you guys will be getting a range time video soon of not only the dual nods but my favorite the hood night fighting rifle you guys will finally get to see that possibly the cheapest night fighting rifle there is Maybe. 
Thank you all for watching. I've been your host, Dollar Tree Tactical. Make sure to like and subscribe and see what other crazy bullshit I can come up with. Now, if you stay this long, ready for a sneak peek of probably next week's video? Well, if you're good viewers, you would say yes, and you would get to see what this is coming soon.